Hello everybody, it's your uh, boy Soul back at it again with a draft analysis of a uh, uh, draft league uh, that I'm in. Uh, recently I joined the revival of the PDL, uh, a new league. Uh, so uh, I guess uh, uh, it's uh, it's content for now. Uh, I've been off for a while, but I'm back at it again. So uh, let's see um, how this draft went for me and uh, uh, my thoughts on it. And let's just jump right in. Uh, at the f first pick, or not the first pick, it's not in pick order, it's in speed tier order, actually. So it's from fastest to slowest, and the first up is Mega Diancy right here. Um, it's a really decent mod, um, it's a really strong mod, as you can see from its stats with 110 speed, it outspeeds a lot, uh, being a Mega. But there are some things that it doesn't outspeed, and uh, with that magic bounce ability, it really gives it that um, versatility in the terms of being able to bounce back everything that's a non-damaging moves, uh, mostly, so that's pretty cool. Uh, uh, it really makes it so you have to hit hit this hard in order to deal with it. And uh, uh, really seeing as uh, it's um, weak to steel types, I kind of had to keep that in mind. Uh, I, I kind of have to keep that in mind throughout the season because people will run HP steals for it But other than that, it's a really decent mod. I uh, wish it was a tad faster, but as you can see from the from the Stats here. It's a really decent mod. Let's move on to the next pick which is Galvantula uh, My next fastest pick here at 108 speed it really isn't that great of a speed. It's a it's a it's a very decent speed. Uh, so it outspeeds uh, 100s. It outspeeds uh, 105s. Mm, and uh, not only that, but it's a uh, it's a good electric type, right? With its ability compound eyes, um, I'm able to run like inaccurate moves because compound eyes boosts my accuracy. So instead of running thunderbolt, I can run thunder at almost 100% accuracy and. Uh, uh, I can run the Focus uh, slash Sticky Web set a lot because it will help Mega Day and see pick, up, pick up those crucial kills seeing as Sticky Web. Um, a bit of slowing everything down on the opponent's team on switch in that um, is on the ground really helps out Mega Day and see to, to pick off some of those high tier threats that's very, that are often very frail but are faster than Mega Day and see. Uh, so it really helps this team out a lot and it's going to be a very central focal point to the rest of the team as well and you're about to see because everything uh, from here on down is going to be slower than Galvantula, right? So that means my 110 is my highest speed, speed tier, uh, barring Scarfers, and then uh, having access to Sticky Web really helps this team in terms of speed in that sense. <laughs> It, or it forces removal, so it's really good. Bug, bug type is also crucial as a, a strong bug type uh, user uh, that are able to uh, that, that's able to hit behind substitutes. All right, let, let, let's move on. Next pick is a return of a Pokemon I've drafted before in my TAO season four um, draft. I I drafted Landorus. Uh, this time it's. Uh, uh, on a different team, but it's uh, the same on uh, and uh, it's not my Z user this time if I'm not mistaken uh, So uh, it's, it's no Z uh, Availability here, but as you can see 101 uh, Decent speed it out as long as you outspeed 100s you're in a, you're in a good place So uh, that's really well it, uh, apart from the other Landorus form Landorus Therian. This is where uh, apart from the speed. This is really where the um, Months start to diverse in versatility. Like Landorus T is often highly regarded for being very bulky and um, because of its ability intimidate, which makes it more defensively bulky. Seeing as intimidate lowers attack from the opponent, so uh, you're you're getting kind of more bulky on the defensive side from that. But this mon doesn't have that. It doesn't have intimidate. It has sand force. So and without um, C Zen force. No, 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 uh, C Sandstorm. Uh, it actually uh, makes it so I have to scarf or, or bring a sub agility set or something like that to, or a sub rock polish set to really bring up that speed to where I want it to be or have, uh, or I need sticky webs up as you can see. But um, having a ground type that's not um, 
that's um, not prone to being hit by ground moves itself is really good. So like, having a ground immunity being a ground Pokemon it actually makes it a really, makes you a better ground type than most. So that's really good. Uh, it also has a fly, but I can't use Z fly, so that kind of stinks. But at least I can use uh, that in some scenarios if. I want to but most likely it's gonna be HP fly uh, very good attacking stats uh, decent defenses um, times four weak to ice so I gotta watch out for that and I don't have an ice resist yet but uh, I, I'm, I'm sure it will bring me good uh, good power to the team uh, next up is my, my first pick actually overall is Kieran Black as you can see from the stats and from the, um, the just the figure of stature on this Pokemon is 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 very very good in its own tier, which is which is OU, the second highest tier in the game. It's really really strong Pokemon. It's like getting a Mega Pokemon without using a Mega Slot for it. So uh, the only thing that sucks about this is it, it does have that common Steel weakness in um, combination with Mega DNC. So Kieran Black can't really come in safety on uh, from Mega Dancy here, but uh, it does provide so much power, and it's decently bulky as well. So as long as I can cover for its weaknesses, it should bring that brute force that I'm looking for to really uh, smash the opponent uh, to bits. Because this uh, Pokemon is not to be taken lightly by any means. 170 attack is almost as high as you can, as you're going to get. I think one. 85 Mega Heracross is 185 and that's the second highest in the game I think so it's, it's one of the highest in the game the only thing that really sucks about this is uh, as we said uh, Kieran White the other form of this does have the 170 and special attack which is better than having it in the attack scene uh, because of Ice Beam uh, primarily and Blizzard or most Ice type moves being special but 120 is still nothing to scoff at, and uh, that speed is not very good. It's since it's below 100, you're kind of like in this awkward situation that even if you scarf it, you're going to be outspeed, outsped by mods that are 100 and scarf. But uh, it, it's so bulky that if it can tank a hit, it, can, it should be definitely should be able to kill what's in front of it indefinitely, even. As long as it doesn't like straight up resist. So um, as far as far as I can see right now, my team is looking very powerful, both on the special and the physical side. Since Landers can Landers and Kieran Black can run um, both physically and specially. Uh, I don't like that I don't have an ice resist yet, and I don't have a steel resist uh, or a good steel resist yet, because Galvantula ain't taking that many steel hits, even though it resists it. So. Uh, we're, you're gonna see more bulk as we go along, but this is it's a strong strong offensive core with a good speed uh, Seeing as I got access to sticky web, so I, I really like this part of my team and uh, these four mods are going to be brought More often than not like 95% of the time <laughs> or something like that. So they're really good. They're really really good Okay, let's move on Next mod is Silvali and Silvali is a really decent mod overall. It has 95 and everything uh, making it almost legendary seeing a, a legendary has 100 and everything but mm, it doesn't make it bad by any means um, its uh, ability RKS system makes it so it makes it a, a replica of Arceus just not 120 and everything just 90 and everything so mm, it makes it so that uh, if I run a certain item I can change its typing to whatever I want, so I get access to every single typing in the game, which is n really not bad. Uh, but uh, mostly in draft, you see Silvali as like a cover-up pick, so it's like if you don't have enough points to to cover every single um, typing that you want, uh, Silvali is like a cover-up for that. So there's a certain type of typing that you absolutely need, but you don't have the points or the, the access to it in the in the draft at that point then Silvali is a great pick and uh, to be honest uh, this is what uh, Silvali was for me in this draft uh, I felt like uh, I didn't have a strong steel type 
and uh, I felt like I wanted more options than just one bulky psychic type and one bulky water type as you'll see it's coming down the line spoilers but um, I wanted more uh, variety so I don't just bring the same stuff every time I want Silvale to bring some diversity and just like yeah maybe you don't uh, so, so maybe you have ac uh, have the option of having two bulky psychics so you just don't have to prep for that you you have to prep for Silvale every time because you don't know what's ty what typing it's gonna be right so that's pretty interesting it also brings a fighting type to the table um, uh, and a fire type so uh, it's it's really good and it also has access to defog and this is one of my Z users so I can Z parting shot which makes it so Z parting shot um, lowers the attack and the special attack by one stage on the enemy and then it switches me out and then the mon that comes back in gets full, full, full HP restored. It's a really, really good move, and that's uh, the only reason why I, I allow this to be my Z user, because it can Z parting shot. It does give me the option to use Z multi attack as well, because um, Sobali's signature move multi attack is so it follows the typing that you change it to. So if I change it to a fire typing, then multi attack is going to be a fire type move. If I change it to a dragon type, then multi attack is going to change into a dragon type move and so on and so forth. So it's going to follow every time I change its typing. I can only change it to one typing that I bring it to each game, but I can. But each game that I bring it to, I can bring one different typing, right? So maybe one game I bring fairy, one game I bring dragon, one game I bring fighting, one game I bring fire. It's really, really versatile in that sense, but in terms of moves, it doesn't really do anything other than being a default support with parting shot. And maybe multi attack U turn, or I can bring a scarf set and maybe Z offense. But um, yeah, it's, it's really a cover up pick, but it's not bad, it's not bad at all. Next mod is Mesprit, and Mesprit is one of my favorite low tier Pokemon as of late. It's one of my recently discovered picks. Uh, I always uh, I've thought for a long time that Azelf and Uxie are just better overall. Of the mm, creation trio but uh, when I when I saw these stats I was just like damn this is this is really really good right the only thing that's what n not in 105 here is its speed and HP uh, and even though it's 80 HP it's still very very bulky excuse me thanks to having that 105 defense and 105 special defense uh, that 80 speed does hold it back a little bit but it does make it a great tank, uh, a great stealth rock lead, a great healing wish support, a great assault vest user, a great scarfer, and uh, so on. So it's really a, a decent mod for being low tier. Uh, it really only does like one or two things, but it does those things really well. And it brings a ground immunity to the table, which I really needed because uh, Silvali is more often than not maybe going to be weak to ground. It, uh, Mega, my Mega Deancy and Galvantula Gil in combination with each other don't handle ground very well. And although Landorus already gives me that ground immunity, if it gets hit by something like uh, something else that a ground type carries, maybe like a stone type move that's not neutral or something, then Mesprit is more tanky than Landorus and can handle that easier. So. It's 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 nice to have Mesprit on the team as the primary uh, stealth rock user and the and the like really solid like bulky lead that that's really nice to have. So I really like Mesprit. Pleasantly surprised by it. Next up is Chandelure, which is uh, personally maybe like one of my top five favorite mods, and maybe not in like competitive settings, but in its design and it's just as a Pokemon, it's really really cool and really cute. Uh, does have that same speed as Mesprit, so it's not the fastest. So uh, it's uh, most commonly uh, used as a scarfer, seeing as you you can invest as much speed as you want, seeing as that special attack is already so sky high. Uh, it does give me a strong ghost type offense, which uh, most teams don't have, and it really allows you to hit very a lot of things very hard because most things are walled by either steel types or dragon types 
and ghost types passes through both of them neutrally so even having that uh, additional fire typing uh, really makes steel types afraid of this thing uh, so so the only thing I need need to worry about with this mod is really dark types that's kind of dark and water bulky water types are only the uh, the only thing that this Pokemon has to worry about that can really out tank it hard um, but even then I can do some sub I can do some subbing substituting I can do some uh, tricking some items uh, I can burn stuff with will-o-wisp so uh, you have to hit me on the special side I can invest specially and then hit you with will-o-wisp and then something setting up it's really strong fire type and ghost type um, mod I really really like it and it brings a lot to the team because it does bring me that fire typing to start off my fire water grass core and seeing as Silvala can either be grass or water as I wish it to be then I already have two thirds of my core which is really cool I already have my I have also my t two thirds of my fairy dragon steel core and so all I can be the third cover in that as well if I if I needed to be that instead so uh, uh, this team is really um, coming coming along, coming along um, and sticky web support seeing as Chandler it really has no other means than scarf uh, to raise its speed is really really good so Galvantula is being kind of this like focal point where. Yeah, sticky web um, under sticky webs this is probably one of the stronger teams in this in this league but without sticky webs it is kind of falls apart so uh, but luckily uh, so far I think I have three means of getting sticky webs up or uh, as I, I know that as long as like um, in terms of further down uh, so far it's only two ways it's either through Mega Diancy's magic bounce that someone throws a sticky web at me at Mega Diancy and it bounces back towards them so Sticky Webs ends up on their side and not on my side. And then we have the primary method which is going to be 9 times out of 10 which is the Galvantula access to Sticky Web. You just Sticky Web it and then and then you do other stuff and then maybe it dies but as long as Sticky Web stays up then this team really wins the game. It should be because Mega Dancy, in combination with Lander's Eye and Kieran Black, it really provides so much power with backup of the bulk of Savalia and Mesprit. Really uh, gives me a lot of power and a lot of bulk. So uh, I'm really glad to see that. Uh, next mod up though is Cacturn. So Cacturn was a really interesting pick for me. It was one of, the, it, I think it was my last pick. Mm, is a mod I've never used before in draft. And is someone that I'm happy to use because uh, I was very pleasantly surprised by this as well. It's actually a really strong mod. It's not fast at all, but you can't expect it much out of a, a, a Pokemon out of the lowest tier. So seeing this, I was really pleasantly surprised because it's a good special attacker as well, even though it looks like it's a very good physical attacker. Uh, the main reason I got this though is because of its ability water absorb It's a it's a cactus, right? And it absorbs water like anything else. So it's immune to water types It's a grass type which is uh, also a filler to my grass water fire core uh, But it, it's immune to water it's immune to one of the three prime uh, this one of the It's immune to the most common typing in the game uh, which is really good because you don't want to because usually you want to switch grass types into your water type uh, into a, the opponent's water types uh, and hopefully tank an ice beam and ice beams are really the only thing that's uh, that cacturn is afraid of because ice is super effective on grass but uh, now I can more comfortably f switch into those water types seeing as they actually heal me with their water moves so that's really really good and uh, the defenses are bad but are, are subpar but they're not that bad so I can't run like something like assault vest or invest in some bulk if I need it to be like that but the speed tier is really really bad 50 volt 55 isn't really outspeeding anything of value since it's uh, as base 60s are kind of the thing that you have to outspeed to, to be relevant in the speed game but 
thanks to Galvantula's sticky web, I, I think I even outspeed like I outspeed base 80s or something. I see. I think I, outs I outspeed a lot. Or worst case, I got sucker punch. So it really buffs up the speed, and uh, it it's really really strong in terms of uh, attack stats. So really good mod. Next up is Ditto, and Ditto is really an interesting one. As you can see here in the color coding, I have marked everything that's green. I have marked that as fast or above average. Uh, everything that's yellow is average, and everything that's red is uh, below average or bad speed. Uh, Ditto is a 48 speed tier mod. It has base 48 speed, base 48, 48 and everything. And you would think by first glance that that's really bad, really really bad. Uh, but Ditto is never going to be 48 and everything because of uh, the ability it's, it has imposter and it's famous for this uh, both in the anime and the, and the game they don't changes into the enemy's Pokemon on switching you don't have like if I uh, if something is ahead of me in front of me and is about to attack me then I can switch Ditto in and before the attack lands it becomes the opponent's Pokemon, so it hits like the um, the cop a copy of the um, the opponent's Pokemon. The only thing that doesn't transform in stats is the HP. The HP will always remain 48, which is 48 HP is bad. 48 is just bad, right? But it's a low tier pick, so it's fine. Um, it it copies stat boosts as well, so let's say uh, something like a reuniclus right is uh, plus two plus two plus two special attack plus two special defense with calm mind and it's posing a threat to your team but it's only hitting you with psychics and you recognize that it doesn't have shadow ball for example you can switch in ditto to copy those plus two plus two stats psychic is resisted on itself so you can tank it comfortably and force your opponent to switch or at least PP stall it a bit because uh, Ditto doesn't have great PP with the moves it uses, so it's gonna run out of moves before anything else. But you can switch it in and out multiple times, right? Because it doesn't use the move transform when its ability changes its form instantly, which is really good. So you can run like a choice scarf Ditto, change into something that's fast and be even faster than it. So Ditto is my kind of like the dark horse of this team it's a, in my opinion ditto is dark horse of any team because ditto is the most um, it's the hardest mod to prep for maybe aside from Mew Mew is also a very hard mod to prep for because Mew is the same as ditto almost plus much much more ditto has uh, the only thing ditto has is that it transforms immediately while Mew has the access to the move transform, so it has to use the move first in order to gain the same benefits as Ditto. But in in trade off for that, Mew has what over double over double the stats that Ditto has. So when it transforms, it has a hundred HP instead of forty eight. But apart from that, Ditto is a really really solid mod. So I really like Ditto as a as a, as a low tier pick. Ditto is really strong. And I'm glad I really wanted this on my team because it poses so much of, the, of a threat because you never know what's, what it's going to be. So this in combination with Silvali, it provides a lot of a lot for this team. And if I have sticky webs on my side, I can take the opponent's Pokemon and pose an even bigger threat th th to them than they can to me because I have sticky web support and they maybe don't, right? So, yeah. All right, next up is probably one of the bulkiest Pokemon in the in the game as you can see from the stat slide over there uh, to the right um, its defenses are off the roof they're so it's so strong both especially defensively and physically defensively it's the best uh, in my eye uh, in my eyes in my opinion it's the best poison type in draft league format in this format that we're playing it um, due to its uh, due to the fact that it is so bulky it can tank everything that it's that is not super effective or 
boosted, uh, a stat boosted. It can tank neutral Z moves comfortably. It can tank uh, resisted hits like a god. And even super effective hits have a hard time pulling through this mod. The only thing that's not good about this Pokemon is its HP stat. If the HP stat were, was a little more, it would be totally, completely un uh, unstoppable. But it has to have some kind of counter, right? So uh, the fact that it has no HP almost is is a, is a, is, a, is a drawback. But the defenses are very good, so you invest in HP almost every time. So so it's a really good mod. Uh, the trick is uh, to find out if it's physically defensively, uh, physically defensive, or uh, especially defensive. And once you figure that out, you can start to plan around the mod. But it's really hard to it's really hard to play around because not because uh, not every team are prepped to handle this from the start. And uh, due to the fact that this mod gets toxic spikes as well, uh, really adds that layer of. Uh, uh, as a layer of threat to it so it has an offensive presence as well as a defensive presence so this is the main tank of the team and it's probably gonna come yeah like nine times out of ten as well maybe depends on the team matchup but uh, Toxapex really has few bad matchups and uh, it's a really strong mod and uh, as long as you can cover for its weaknesses it should be really good and seeing as I have so far I have uh, two ground immunities already in Lander's Eye and Mesprit, and uh, it helps out. So the only thing I don't like about this team so far is that I don't really have a good answer to a strong electric types. Kieran Black can handle it, sort of. Mesprit and Solvali can handle it, sort of, but not really. Uh, and uh, Galvantula does not really deal with it well either, since it's the problem with the problem here is I don't have a bulky electric bulk electric uh, resist the only thing that fits in that category is cure and black or silvali with a typing that helps it cover electric types but uh, the, the problem then is cure and black is my offensive presence and if i use that to tank electric type attacks too much then i'm not going to end up uh, then i'm going to end up not having a cure and black and if I use Silvali, then it forces Silvali to become a certain typing that maybe I don't want or maybe I don't need, right? Because maybe like an opponent has an electric type Pokemon that's maybe not its strongest mod, but it's going to bring it anyway because it has a good matchup here. Uh, access to Hidden Power Ice, so it deals with Landorus pretty well It's fa if it's faster than Landorus. And, um, yeah, so strong electric types are something that I have to be careful about, but uh, I've never dealt with that weakness before. I've always had, like, my main problem has always been ice types and ground types, but this time I think it's more electric types that are the problem, but I think I can handle it either way. Depends on how I play, depends on what Ditto turns into, it's so many factors, and that's what I like about this team. Uh, I do like that it has... A lot of versatility even though it looks like a poorly patched up team so last but not least we have pineco and that's a really the odd mon out odd mon out here it doesn't look like it fits along with the rest of the team but what if you think about what was left then uh, i wanted something that got both stealth rock access and rapid spin access and Spineco was one of the few things left that really had that. I don't want a Sand Slash on my team because Sand Slash is, has poor speed in 65. Uh, and not that 15 is any better, I'm not saying that, but uh, Sand Slash is, uh, does, um, has very, is, is a very bad single typing mod in comparison to Pineco because Pineco is really bulky. In, uh, in comparison to, to a Sand Slash, for example, and a Sand Slash Alola is tankier than Pineco, but Sand Slash Alola has so many weaknesses that I don't want to draft it at all. Because if you don't have access to Hail, then I don't want Sand Slash Alola, not uh, this time around, either way. So, because it's times four weak to fighting, and it's times four weak to fire, and though although Toxapex covers both of them. 
then if they if if it if it's something that's not a, a fire type or fighting type mom but has HP fire or HP fighting, and I don't see that coming, then I can end up losing crucial stealth rocks or that can end up costing me the game, and I don't want to deal with that. So instead, we're drafting Pine Coal, which is like a less lesser version of Fortress. It gets access to every single typing of Hazard spikes, taxi spikes, stealth rocks, and then removal in rapid spin. So that's really good, but aside from that, it doesn't really do anything else, right? Because it's a very low tier mod, it's not fully evolved even. It has good stats, and uh, with Eviolite, it really helps it out because the opponent is forced to go for a knockoff, which is resisted, and I can uh, switch out into something that resists maybe Silvali Fairy or maybe, you know, something along those lines something that can handle uh, maybe like even Mega Dancy that resists it and doesn't get uh, since Mega Stones can't be knocked off it uh, it, it can handle knockoff really well and uh, stuff like that so maybe a Ditto can handle it so yeah it's not bad uh, Eviolite is an item that boosts my defenses by 1.5 so having 90 defense before that 1.5 stat um, multiplier comes in is really good. So it's going to be most. I'm going to run Eviolite on on this time on this Pokemon all the time. So it's going to be 35 times 1.5, which is what a 30. No, it's almost. It's about 50. 50 special defense, which is not good but it's better than 35 and then in the defense department it's going to be 135 135 defense on a mon that's this low is really good and it doesn't struggle with the same problem that fortress does although fortress is better uh, fortress is times to four weak to fire but pango has more weaknesses but it's not it doesn't have a times four weakness so that's something uh, I guess I can run self-destruct maybe or something if I want to change up the momentum of the match but it does pair well with Chandelure which has fire immunity due to its ability flash fire which I forgot to mention so uh, if, a, if something this is weak to fire and I can it either gives me a very free chain swap into Toxapex or it gives me a free swap and a boost into Chandelure if they go for fire time, fire time move on this or something, so that's really good. Or it gives me the free or a very free swap into Kieran Black as long as it's something not as not something like a big TNV create. So that's really good. All in all, I'd give this a team rating like six, seven out of ten, maybe. It's not my favorite team that I'm drafted, but I'm I'm u I'm using a lot of new mods that I'm not familiar with compared with some picks that are familiar. So. Uh, I really look forward to using this team. I'm really excited for seeing us uh, what it's going to bring to the table for me. But uh, I do like that uh, it has lo a lot of that raw power. So I just got to figure out how to keep sticky webs up most of the time so I can take advantage of it. Because the speed tier of this team isn't really the greatest. I do have access to Trick Room though. So if I want to change the speed order in Trick Room so that the slowest mons go first, then I may have a chance at some good good games as well but aside from that then uh, we're gonna i'm gonna see how far i can get with this team hopefully i'll get far i don't have i haven't really decided if i'm gonna make content on it yet if i'm gonna record the team builders and the battles but we'll just see how it goes it's gonna be low effort content i just wanted to do a little more than just being on showdown this time i wanted to just make some few low effort graphics i spent like five minutes on this <laughs> but it's better than being on showdown i just wanted to make it look a little nice at least so i said from that uh thank you for watching the video uh it's nice to be back on my own channel i haven't uploaded in a while, a while. i've been busy with stuff but it's nice to to be back and uh hopefully uh you haven't gone anywhere and uh, uh uh, smash that like and uh, I'll see you for the PDLR season. Uh, thanks for now. Bye.